What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we went through a lot in the last episode. Got ourselves some new stuff, that kind of stuff, and new Pokemon. Lots of decisions. Evolved a new Pokemon. And now it is finally time for us to go back to Vermilion City and battle quite a few trainers because, uh, you know what, we need to train our Pokemon just a tad bit. And, well, let's see, well, now that we got a bike... I think it's only appropriate for us to just move ahead like that. Okay, alrighty, so... Let's see. In the agenda, I think I've already decided on what kind of a team I would like to have. It's just very, very hard. Like, there are lots of good Pokemon in Pokemon Black and White. A lot of useful Pokemon, I should say. Lots and lots of useful Pokemon, and I kind of want to use them all, so... Let's see if we can actually get an extra team going. I would like to have two teams just in case, uh, you know, we, we just in case we get to, you know, Pokemon Black and White 2, that kind of stuff. And for me to, you know, to purposely go on this is another thing right here because I kind of want to capture a time pool. And I kind of, well, I already caught a time pool. The deal is that I kind of want to capture a stronger one. And actually raise it up to go into a ground and uh, water type Pokemon. Now the deal is this, that you know eventually I'm going to have to choose one or the other, who's going to be first team and who's going to be second team. In my opinion, I, I like both of these Pokemon. I would love to have both of these Pokemon on my team. Why won't, why can't I? Well, they're both ground type Pokemon. Both Crocorock and Time Pool. And well, let's give it its nickname again, Mudslide, I think. So let's go Mud. Slide. There we go, Mudslide. Okay, so got Mudslide here, and it looks like to me, for right now, we're gonna have to take out P Dove mainly because it's a it's it's a flying type Pokemon. It will not last against Lieutenant Surge right here, and I kind of want to just use it for everything else right here. So eventually, you know, it will grow up and all that crud. So let's see, Pidove, thank you for your service. Let's go straight for Mudslide right here. Off screen, I did capture myself quite a, a few other Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see, do I have any T? Oh, crud. I think I used the TM for Water Gun on uh, the on the Pokemon that I just, yeah, the Pokemon that I just traded away for Melo Meloda. And, never mind, it has some pretty good moves right here too, so. Got ourselves a water type Pokemon, and now we're going to be going into the next route, and we're going to be battling quite a few trainers here and there, growing levels and whatnot. Talk about the the misfits of Edgar and all that stuff. The misfits of, uh, you know, to, well, just everything right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, move on. So, here we are again. Now, in our last episode, we got quite a few Pokemon, and there is a goal. We need to talk to this guy right here, because whatever he has may dictate what we're going to be picking on our team right here. So, let's go right ahead and continue on right here into this next route. What route is this? Hold on. I always forget the routes, the, the, the route numbers and whatnot. Let's see. Route 11. Okay, so... Gonna be battling some trainers. Oinkinator's right there. Our strongest Pokemon is Killacroc. Let's go with Mudslide at the beginning. And let's just take care of business right now. Let's go! But don't cheat. Alrighty. Okay. So here we go. Going up against Youngster. Coming with a Purloin at level 21. And here we have Mudslide. And, well, let's go with a Bubble Beam, and, well, there's a Faint Attack right there. And that hits us pretty hard, so here we go, Bubble Beam. That hits pretty hard, too, but we need to switch out our Pokemon, so let's go straight to Oinkinator right here. Alrighty. Okay, the Summer of Hacks. How are you guys feeling about that? I'm feeling pretty darn good about it, because, you know, it's a, it's a, lot, of, a lot of new games. A lot, lots of new games, lots of new material right here on my channel. And, you know, I'm hoping to get Pokemon Brown and Pokemon Unova Red done before the end of, uh, the end of July, I would have to say. That's why I'm doing them pretty quickly right here. Okay, so let's move on right here. 
Let's go ahead and uh, if I if I were a gambling man, which this guy is, let's go ahead and switch out this Pokemon. Let's go with Meloda, Meloetta, Meloetta. Can't pronounce that thing right. And here we go. Win, lose, or draw. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we have a gambler wanting to battle us, coming with a Pampoor. And here we have Meloetta pronouncing its name right. And this Pokemon right here, of course, is legendary. And, well, we're going to get a Leer, so... Oh, wow. <laughs> it will not listen to us right now because it's a traded Pokemon. So that right there is a good enough excuse to actually switch that Pokemon. So, let's see. Toxicity... Oinkinator. Gotta go for Oinkinator. Alrighty. And it's fast asleep. Okay, I wanted to go for I wanted to go for another attack. Well, for seeing first, but I guess this Pokemon disobeying me read its read my thoughts. So there we go. And yes, Pampor is still asleep. Anywho, guys, very very glad that you guys are enjoying the summer hacks. You know, it gives you something to watch over on the on the on the YouTube and whatnot. And this guy's coming out with a time pool. Let's go with a flash right here. The other thing too is to have um, have my flash learn a, an actual electric type move and all that stuff. Anywho, oh crud! Yeah, there's a tackle attack right there. And well, we got to switch out our Pokemon right here to kill a croc. Alrighty, alrighty. We might get hit by a water type attack, but look at that. Here comes a water type attack right there. Hits it pretty hard. Let's go with a crunch attack right there. Look at that. Okay. Crunch attack does its trick. Kill a croc doing its thing right there too. Okay, okay. Let's see. What else am I trying to do here? I don't know. I think I've already captured most of the Pokemon right here. Not too surprised of what you could actually find right here. And well, let's see. Meloetta, you can't... Well, we're going to still try and train this Pokemon up. Uh, maybe, just maybe, I'll have it on my team. I don't know. Again, I'm not too sure about what my team is going to look like, but I do... I kind of think that I, I kind of want to use the, like two teams instead of one because, you know, it's Unova. The Pokemon right here are just like so useful and stuff. So let's go right ahead and go with Oinkinator right here. And... Take on this Pan Sage, and look at this. Going with the Vine Whip right here. So here we go. Ember Attack doesn't doing the trick. And there goes Pan Sage. Look at that. Okay. Meloetta grows to level 14. And Oinkinator doing his thing. So here he comes out with a Deerling. Okay, so this is a Pokemon that I kind of want to use. Deerling. Why? Because it does have some pretty cool, uh, cool moves nice stats and whatnot and I don't know why I came out with flash so let's go right ahead and use Oinkinator yet again and here we go Oinkinator doing his thing we're getting sand attacked and let's go for an ember attack right here and we miss good gravy here goes a double kick that's something that I kinda wanna use the double kick attack alright here we go ember attack super effective against this dearling Yes, sir. Alrighty, okay. And Flash grew to level 17. Not learning another move just yet. Good gravy. He's like, I had a chance. No, you didn't. Okay, so now that we have Deerling in our Pokemon, uh, in our, well, in our Pokédex, I kind of want to see something right here, okay? So, let's see. Deerling, Deerling, where the heck are you, Deerling? Dweevil, Croc Rock, Arcan, Trubish, Rua. Gothita, Deerling, there you go, number 91, area. Huh, you don't say. So, you can actually find Deerling near Celadon City, which is appropriate, so what, that is probably uh, another thing on my list right there. And, well, let's go ahead and go with Mudslide right here. We're trying to, you know, gain levels, come on. Here we go. My Pokemon should be ready by now. They should, but they're probably not. Okay, here we go, going up against Youngster, and this guy wants to come out with a Lillipup. And, well, 
yeah, Mudslide, not too strong right now, but we're going to be switch training. We do have pretty, two pretty good Pokemon right now in Oinkinator and Krokorok. And, well, there's a Leer, but here comes a pure fighting type move, the low kick attack. And that sweeps the leg. It does its trick. There we go. And then, well, let's see, Herdier. Let's continue on right here. Sounds like Nidorina. Nidorino. I don't know. Nidorina, yeah. And look at that. Nido King, or not Nido King, but low kick attack does its thing. And we are winning continuously. And well, let's go ahead and take this guy. I just became a trainer, but I think I can win. Oh, you think you can win. All right. So you think you can dance. Let's go right ahead and take on the Drillbur right here. So this is a good. This is a good matchup, and well, let's go straight for a Bubble Beam attack. Drillbur, of course, is a pretty strong physical attacker. And there we go, Bubble Beam takes half its HP. So just survive one more scratch. Good gravy! Yeah, wasn't gonna survive that. Good gravy, okay, so let's go Flash. Uh, God dang it, okay, Bind Attack, here comes the Fury Swipes. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, so here we go, we're binding you, you are not moving, speed button, damn it, okay, Meloetta, okay, let's go with a confusion, scratch attack, oh my god, and ignore the orders, what the hell, come on Meloetta, uh, sing, and I guess we use a different move, and Meloetta, He's finally doing something right, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Good gravy. Crock Rock. Alright, so Meloetta is out of the team. It is out of the team because it, yeah, it's not listening to me right now. And, yes, Crunch Attack does its trick. Okay, alrighty. There we go. Okay, so that was, yeah, that right there was pretty bad. So what's going to happen is I'm going to fast forward. Need to switch out my Pokemon. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys. So here I am back in the flesh. And, well, what we did was that I switched out Pito for Meloetta. Shouldn't have doubted Pito. Mainly because it will listen to me. The other thing, too, is that I actually sent Meloetta to the daycare. So, regardless of what happens, I am. it's still going to gain levels and whatnot while I'm walking. I will get it until, like, I get three badges or so. Depending, you know, whatever, whatever Pokemon I capture next. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here. And well, let's see, we got another gambler going on right here. Yeah, let's continue with the mudslide. Yeah, we're gonna continue on with mudslide. I have never won before. For you, for you, I don't feel bad for you because I'm about to increase that losing streak right here. And gambler does want to fight. Coming with his pants here. And mudslide looking like. It's about to win. So here comes a Fury Swipes. Good gravy. There it is. Three. Oh my god. Knowing my luck is going to be five. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Bubble Beam. And that right there is good. So here comes an Ember Attack. Come on. Stay. Stay. Come on, Pants here. Or Mudslide. <laughs> and Jesus. Okay. So its speed has fallen. That actually helped us out a little. And it's a critical hit. What was that when I needed it? And here comes a Darumaka. As many of you guys already know, I think I've already had this Pokemon in my team at one point. And, well, it's a, it's a really nice looking Darumaka. Like, the, the, the sprite is looking pretty good. And, well, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. We're not going to let this guy just faint. We need to win with Mudslide. We do. Can't rely on Killer Croc and, uh, you know, we can't rely on Killer Croc and uh, Oinkinator all the time right here. So let's go ahead and use another. Oh, crud. It's using Rage Attack. Here we go. Bam. For the win, Darumaka defeated. And say hello to level 16 for Mudslide right there. Okay. So we're doing some good stuff. Everybody's winning. And, well, let's see. Now that we got Darumaka on the. the Pokédex. Let's see where we can actually find this guy. Fle oh, there it is. Level number 60. And, wow. Okay. So, it's not that far away. 
It's just that, you know, I already have a Fire-type Pokemon. It would be nice to have a Darumok on the team at some point. You know, that kind of stuff. Alright. This guy obviously has some Electric-type Pokemon, so let's go to Kill a Croc. Let's go. Let's get it. Careful! I'm laying down some all cables. Alright. Water break right here. Going up against... Engineer. And, well, he's coming out with a clink. Steel-type Pokemon right here, so that right there... Well, gear grind, that's a new one right there, but here comes a crunch, and... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's new. Oh, wow, it's a repetitive attack. Here we go, crunch attack. And there goes Clink. Okay, so I'm liking the new moves that they're adding right here. Which is great. And yes, that was electric. So that Clink is uh, looking pretty good. I'm assuming that you can get Clink over at the power plant. Watch out for live wires! Hmm. Okay, here we go. Going up against Engineer again. And well, he's coming out with a Joltik. Definitely another Pokemon that I want to get. And well, we got Mudshot right here, so. That is uh, not very effective, but it just it takes him out quickly. And well, here comes another Joltik. Uh, let's go again with another Mudshot. And this one takes out another Joltik right there, too. So, yeah, we're doing some business right here. And well, he's coming out with an Amolga. Amolga! This one's both a flying and electric type Pokemon, one of the most pesky ones. And, well, it's not pesky right here, and, well, look at that. Okay, we're looking at new Pokemon, that's good. Very, very good right there. And, well, let's move out of this way. And, well, there must be an item right here somewhere, right? No, there's no item. Could be wrong, no. Alright, <sighs> battle this guy right here. Ha 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 ha. I have never lost. Well, the first time for everything. I mean, I lost my very first battle when I started this whole walkthrough. Or when I started the Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. You guys remember that one? That one was, uh, yeah, that one was pretty awesome right there. And here we go. Let's go with a Mud Shot. And Blitzel doing his thing right there. Dying. And he's coming out with a Tynamo. So let's continue on right here. We do have a nice ground type attack right here. So look at that. Mudshot is doing his thing. There we go. Alright. <laughs> He's like, uh, my first lost. He's like, luck of the draw. Just luck. Nope, not luck. It's just, you know, pure skill. And we found ourselves an escape rope right there. Alright, let's see what this kid is. I'm the best in my class. Not the best in the world, by the way, but not, yeah, best in your class, I guess. Okay, so, here we go. Going up against a youngster, and, well... Kill a Croc, about to do some things right here. Let's go with a Crunch Attack. Definitely enjoying Kill a Croc as a, as a Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see. Coming out with a Pat Rat. Let's go, let's go switch it up to Oinkinator right here, just to finish it off. Let's go, let's go. And, well, let's see. Low kick for the win. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, and, uh, well, let's see. Going up with a Watch Hog. So this is the first time we're going to take on a Watch Hog. And, well, let's go low kick attack. And Watch Hog looking all mean for no reason. There we go, and Oinkinator has grown to level 26. Alright! Kicking some butt, taking some names, it's all good, it's all good. Alright, so that's done. Let's see what Pokemon they use to replace Snorlax. Let's see, I'm thinking of, I'm trying to think of what Pokemon is, you know, blocking the way. Let's see, looked in the binoculars, only a Pokemon Cerulean City Lavender Town by the way of Rock Tunnel, okay. I'm looking for a Herdier. Want to trade one for a Lipard? Okay, so I do not have a Herdier just yet. And big Pokemon to sleep. And this guy right here is Professor Oak's aid. And if you caught 30 kinds of Pokemon, he'll give you an item finder. Uh, nope. 
I've only caught 23 kinds. Holy crud. Okay, so yeah, we need to <laughs> we need to fill up our our Pokédex just a little bit more. So let's see what kind of Pokémon is blocking the way right here. And we have found ourselves a Hyper Potion. And wow, what the heck is this? A Raging Storm blocks the way. Oh, okay, so that is probably one of the legendary Pokemon, uh, the legendary genies. If you guys don't know what it is, it's, uh, what was it, uh, Landris, Thunderous, and Tornadus, so, I guess that's, I guess, uh, I guess those are the Pokemon that you actually find right there. I didn't really comprehend it just too quickly when I first read it, but I guess that's what it is, and, well... That is pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. We've done a lot in one episode, and yes, we still need to, you know, we still need to trade up some Pokemon. I kind of want to, you know, be as buffed up as possible before we go back to Cerulean City to beat uh, Misty. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going into the SSN, and we will be, you know, finishing off right there. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.